Shy San Francisco teenager Mia Thermopolis is thrown for a loop when from out of the blue, she learns the astounding news that she's a real life princess. As the heir apparent to the crown of the small European principality of Genovia, Mia begins a comical journey towards the throne when her strict and formidable grandmother, Queen Clarissa Rinaldi, shows up to give her princess lessons. This is The Princess Diaries on Cross Border Interviews Night at the Movies. There she is right there. That's me at Thermopolis. Glamour, romance, fame. Mia Thermopolis had it all, but only in her dreams. As always, this is as good as it's gonna get. Her real life was completely ordinary. You're way tense. But now, something's about to happen. Your grandmother called. This is the first time she's ever contacted us. What you want? That will change everything. I am queen of Genovia. Whoa, whoa. And you are princess. Shut up. Just in case, I'm not enough of a freak already. <laughs> What's that, a tiara? I can teach you to walk, talk, sit, stand like a princess. Woo! Let the work begin. We don't schlump like this. It's a question of taste. Princesses never cross their legs in public. Tuck one ankle behind the other. A matter of grace. Oh, oh. What kind of dancing do you do? Where is the beautiful girl? My granddaughter, Amelia. <gasps> And a chance Attack. to make all her dreams come true. Hey. Only Paolo can take this and give you much better. Walt Disney Pictures presents Anne Hathaway and Academy Award winner Julie Andrews. Do you think she can do it? I have no doubt. <laughs> the Princess Diaries. I would like to propose a toast. Michael, 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 The Princess Diaries. One of my most favorite movies. Yours was Clueless two weeks ago. Mine is The Princess Diaries. If you have something wrong with this movie, I am coming to New York tomorrow, getting on a plane, finding you, and giving you a tongue lashing. Michael, what did you think of The Princess Diaries, though? <laughs> okay. I like this movie. I can firmly say I like the second one better. Um... Just because of Raven, I, Raven Simone's. Be, Raven Simone. I, mean, I love Raven Simone. You cannot. I, well, I love Raven Simone then. Raven Simone now is a little problematic, but we'll early two thousands Raven show. Simone. <laughs> early two thousands Raven Simone. We love. Um, I I don't know. I just I like the movie. I think it's a fun story. It's based on a book. Um, I did not read the book, but I know people that did that really liked how they transitioned it. Um, I love Julie Andrews. She can do no wrong. I love that this was um, Annie Hathaway's breakout movie. Um, mm -hmm. That She wants to be called Annie. So Annie Hathaway's breakout movie. I, I will say it's not one that I like go to, to watch. Uh, it, I've, I'll watch it every once in a while. I've seen it. I have seen it more than once. So it's not one I hate. Um, it's just not as like in my treasure box of beloved movies. Michael, Michael, Michael. This movie can do no wrong. If I could give okay. more than five stars, I would give it more than five stars, but we'll give the star ratings, spoiler alert later on about what I actually think about this movie. But- Oh, I wonder what it's gonna be. I acting, hardly can wait. Acting, amazing. Julie Andrews, like you said, can do no wrong. She was wrong. off for a long period before. This was her comeback as well. As, as, as much as we talk about Annie Hathaway being this is her breakout moment, you have to remember, Julie Andrews had gone through surgery on her vocal cords, which caused her not to be able to do movies. And this was her comeback. 
Julie Andrews, Mary Poppins, like, like, oh, I, I, Disney can do no wrong when it comes to Mary, uh, Julie Andrews. It seems like they are like Julie Andrews is muse to uh, Walt Disney. Um, I'm just trying to remember the guy's name here right now, but I can't. It's the butler, and he's in a lot of movies. He does the a lot of uh, smaller roles, but he plays the the Queen's bodyguard, and his relationship with Annie Hathaway's Mia uh, is hilarious. I think it's a fun movie. I watch it when I'm down. I watch two Disney movies are my go-to if I'm having a bad day. Lilo and Stitch and The Princess Diaries. There's other movies, but those are my two. Like if I'm feeling shitty, those are the ones that I go to. And I give credit to, I, I, I'm not going to bash the second movie of Royal Engagement because I was not a fan of it. I did like it, but it was not my favorite. It was because of Raven Simone, wasn't it? No, it was because of Chris Evans. Oh yeah, he's done that too. <laughs> yeah. I have seen the set for, I know where this is Princess Diaries 1. I've been on the set for Princess Diaries 2, the like street scene. Oh, the where, where Abigail Brenson comes out and she's like, I'm a little orphan. And here's Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You were on that street? Yeah. So if you go to in LA, if you go to Universal Studios and you go to the, the theme park, whatever, and you take the movie lot tour, which is a part of admission, it's like a 45 minute tram tour, they take you on the set they call Little Italy or not or Little Europe. That's what they call it, Little Europe where they just will repaint the set pieces They'll, for multiple movies. It was painted when I saw it for The Good Place, but it is unmistakably Princess Diaries set. Wow. I did not know this. I Good, good to know. Um, the reason, first off, the reason we're doing this movie is yet again, someone submitted it to us. If you want to submit it, we do have a few other ones that people have started to submit. So if you want to submit a movie for an upcoming episode, please do head over to our Facebook page or website, uh, Instagram, send us a message and we'll try and get them in the rotation for the upcoming movies that we're doing. But I'm excited that we are doing this now because the script three for the movie, the third movie is done. Julie Andrews and ha Annie Hathaway are on board. I am looking forward to reliving my university days. <laughs> I was going to say not your youth. I was going to say that too. So um, let's go with stars. Now, I, I just don't know if I should give it a full five, but I want to give it a 10 because I think it's so great. But Hey, you said that about Clueless, okay? And I did yeah, but not Clueless, roll. I didn't, I didn't, him and Hall over whether or not, I said 10 out of 10, done, ready to go, let's go. You're like, mm, should I? I don't know that, it, like. I think it's a five. I truly think it's a five out of five for me. Michael, what about yourself? You won't let me do half points, so I rounded up, it's a four. So you would have given it a three out of, 3.5 out of five. What was wrong I with would. it in your opinion? I don't know. It just, it wasn't like the vibe for me. Like I don't, a lot of those like coming of age, like teenage stories, whatever. Like I know we just talked about with Coda, but I, it just felt, it felt very predictable to me. It felt, it did feel a smidge unpolished in not like a cute kind of way. Like, and it, it did, it, cause it's young actors. It's a lot of them. It's their first big break too. Like Julie Andrews, no wrong period done. Love her. But a lot Maybe of the more actors, was in this movie, wasn't she? Sure was. Yes, that's what I remember. She was the bitch, pardon my French. Like, it was a lot of, like, there was a lot of very unpolished acting performances. And to me, that's like, and it's not like intentional. It was, this is my first big break and I'm still mm -hmm. learning the ropes. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just, to me, I would do a three and a half out of five. And no shade, no tea. It's a four out of five because you won't let me do half points. So I'm rounding it up. Um, so the only yeah. reason I won't let people do half points, and I'll be honest on this, is it just means more graphics that I have to make, and I'm just lazy these days, guys. Come on. We are in a pandemic, Lovato, still. So, <laughs> wow. Um, overall, if you haven't seen it, it's on probably some streaming service. I don't know which one because I own it on Blu-ray and I own it on DVD. So I actually 
bought it and watch it on a regular basis. And I will still watch it to the day I die because it is okay. fantastic. It is my 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 Holland's opus. <laughs> I, I, I wish everyone would go out and watch it. So that is The Princess Diaries on Night of the Movies on the Cross Border Interviews with Chris Brown and Michael Nichols-Pate. <laughs> <laughs>